Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing this setup today for a bridal shower. Um, we are using white by Qualitex and we are using rose gold by Sempertex. Now we originally was supposed to be doing this on the wall, um, but the client wasn't sure if the venue was going to allow her, I guess, to use the backdrop that they had set up. Uh, which is just a rose gold sequence backdrop. So I was actually excited when I seen it. As if you guys watched my last week video, this was another setup in the same day with the um, safari theme that I did for the last week one. Um, so I was excited because typically on a wall you would have to put the hooks on, and then you would typically you would <laughs> need to let them sit before you actually start to use them. And I just didn't have that much time as I needed to go back to the other venue to pick up the stuff. But let's get started. So we are on site and I am making clusters. And I had inflated the balloons and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I made clusters of like four, um, quads of four at home and I just put them all in the bag. And on this backdrop, at the very, very top, because of course we like close to the ceiling, I wasn't able to put the balloons above the backdrop. So what I did was I have I have safety pins in my suitcase that I just attached to the um, draping, and I put fishing line in the safety pin so I can use that to twist around, as you see me doing now. And I'm really just shaping the top part after I put it on the safety pin. Um, after I, I put the fishing line, wrap the fishing line around on the safety pin. Um, and then I'm using, and that rose gold, and you have to be careful. Right now, before I jump into that, I'm moving the safety pin because I had it on the actual draping. I ended up moving it up to where you put the pole through. And then I ended up moving it again because it was a little bit too far to the left. So I moved it a little closer to where, um, towards the, like, I guess the the start of the draping um and i like that much better so i ended up leaving it there but i did attach it to the top top part of the draping where the pole go through it and i like that much better but back to the rose gold balloons um these are rose gold by simple text and the colors are different than like jamar they rose gold is a is lighter probably would match a little bit more with the drapings that they have here um, versus these rose gold by Sempertex, but it was still really pretty. Um, but definitely be aware of the color of the, of the rose gold by different brands that you can get when you order in these. And I had another rig point at the very top of the pole um, that I'm using fishing line. And I'm using fishing line instead of like a 260Q to um, tie these on. Just because, as you know, 260Q, which it wouldn't really matter with this setup because I'm not putting any kind of florals or anything in it that will weigh the garland down. But the fishing line would basically keep this in, um, it would just keep it in its place. It won't be moving around when doing this. Um, so that's why I'm using the fishing line versus the 260Q to tie the balloons up. And I'm just continuing to make these clusters because um, I'm just going to do like one of those. I have garland, really simple, um, something nice. And it didn't really take me that long. I was so excited to be doing a half garland as well. Um, so it didn't take me that long. I want to say I put this up probably in like 30 minutes if that like and right now i'm just doing the body of the garland and i'm using the necks to tie it to each other so i use the neck of the rose gold with the white and that's how that looks nice and sturdy and then twisting those balloons around as you go to shape it and then i'll be tying as you see now i'm wrapping that fishing line around the white so it's nice and tight and then i'm tying it back to the pole Excuse my ashy hands. <laughs> my hands be so ashy, y'all. Only when I'm doing it with the balloons. I try to keep them <laughs> after I finish everything. Then I like wash and lotion and stuff. And as I mentioned in the other video, that's not sweat. It's pouring down raining today. So my hoodie and stuff is like wet right now. But it's not sweat, you guys. It's just raining hard today. 
And for the actual color and the pattern, I didn't want to do like a lot of the rose gold um, since it was a rose gold backdrop. So I did like two, um, two clusters of white, then rose gold, then two clusters of white, then rose gold. That's pretty much the pattern I went through. And I am tying on that last rig point at the bottom and wrapping it around the rose gold. And you just keep wrapping until you think it's nice and tight. Um, be careful as well because you don't want to like pierce the balloon and it, you know, start a slow leak. Um, this fishing line I used was 20 pound and I had it for a while. I think when I run out of this one, I may get like a 25 pound or a 30 pound fishing line, something a little thicker. Um, I just don't buy anything until I run out of something because I'm just cheap. <laughs> so <laughs> when I run out of this, then I will buy probably a thicker uh, fishing line, but not yet <laughs> anyway. And I'm basically almost done with the body of it. I'm looking for um, a cluster to have like one 11 and one um, 16 inch balloon so the body was made out of the white was I had 11 16 5 and 36 inch and then the rose gold I only had 11 and 5 inch balloons but right now I'm just filling out this bottom part um, trying to finish the actual body of the garland and this is barely sped up as far as the time, um, the speed and everything. And now I'm adding on my first three foot balloon. I added it to the bottom. Now that the body of the garland is finished, I'm gonna start filling out the sides of it, the side of the garland to make it look nice, thick and full, as well as the bottom part. So just so it can come out a little bit onto the floor and not right up against the um, backdrop. And for this rose gold, um, because I already made these into clusters or eight, I didn't want it that thick. So I did end up taking out um, a cluster, just a duplex. I didn't take out a cluster. I took out a duplex so I can just have a cluster of six balloons instead of the eight balloons. So I can, I didn't want it to be too thick at the bottom. So I took a, a duplex out to just have a cluster of six balloons. And I'm going in just finding a neck. As I mentioned, everything is done by neck to neck on here and that's what I did. I went in there to find a neck and I'm just twisting it around. Most of the time when you plan around trying to find the shape of everything, the balloons will find its own place on where it, like where it like. <laughs> I'm trying to explain it. The balloons will find its home basically. When you shaping it, it's going to fall into the place that fits best and they're going to find its way and then when you look at it, it's going to be beautiful because <laughs> you're like, okay, that was perfect. It falls into its own spot. But as you see, I'm adding in balloons over top of that three foot now because I'm trying to thicken it out. So I'm trying to cover up those gaps. We don't want to just have a three foot with open space. We want to put in a cluster on a, over top of that. Or if you have another three foot, if it was a different color, then you would do that as well. Or a 24 inch balloon because now we're going to start thickening out the garland. And that's what we're doing here. I'm adding um, a cluster of six balloons in the front. I didn't need to do too much on the left side of the garland because there will be a table here, um, a treat table that they will be setting up. So I wasn't too concerned about how the left side would look or adding in another three foot on the left side just because I know they was going to be moving the table right there um, for the three foot. But now I'm adding in some more um, of the rose gold at the top. Of that other three foot to thicken that up and this would be my last um, three foot balloon I didn't inflate it all the way to three foot I, I wanted to make it smaller than the last balloon so it's not that big in the area that I was putting it in, which was all the way at the top, is not that big. I just wanted to cover up that pole and it was kind of an open space. If you've seen really briefly, there's like the pole showing. So I wanted to cover that up 
and fill in that empty space. And I'm tying these directly to the neck of another balloon. You can also add these on by using a 260Q or fishing line, anything. Um, I find that using the neck of the three foot to tie it onto another balloon, it actually pulls it in really tight and it's not loose. So that's why I end up using it. Uh, for this look and i'm just going through stepping back <laughs> making sure my niece is recording me thank you again lena uh recording me but i'm just stepping back and making sure everything looks good and now i'm about to fill in that hole that's over top of the rose gold in between that three foot and rose gold i'm about to fill that in so i'm going to tie the this um quad of balloons i only use four and i'm going to tie it directly to the rose gold and then I'm going to end up tying it again to the white that's already on the base of the garland. So I want it to pull from both directions so it's nice and tight and it's not just sitting on top of the rose gold. And that's going to really fill it in on the side and it's going to make it look nice and thick and cover up that area. And we are pretty much done with the body and thickening it up. Now we're going to go into adding our 5 inch balloons. And I'm tying these neck to neck, and I also have them on 260Q as well. So not bad at all. So now I'm going to take that 260Q and wrap it around the balloon. Just like that. Wrap it around and place it where you like it best. So this is the final look and this is how everything turned out. I was really happy with this. I mean, <laughs> it was a long day. This was the second setup and I end up doing a little piece on the side just to give it some balloons. But this is how everything turned out. It was, I was excited. I was so happy that there was a backdrop there because I, we, we didn't have the time, number one, to wait for the hooks to, you know, kind of sit on the wall for a little bit before we used it. Um, as well as these half garlands, I'm just loving so much right now. Um, just because I feel like I have my technique down and getting it done and it was done so fast. I was just so excited. But this is the final look for this bridal shower bridal shower i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'm excited to you know bring out new content my niece will be helping me now so i'm, I'm you know inshallah the videos is better than me just sitting the camera on the stand and you guys watching from a distance i hope you guys are getting more information from these video videos in the future inshallah so please stay tuned for the next video i do have a surprise for the next video so please stay tuned like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video